Hello, my name is Matthew, and I'm going to give my testimony of the Lord Jesus Christ, how he came into my life and took away my guilt, my shame. And uh, I got to do this kind of quickly because this phone, and I just doesn't have much space on it, but <clears throat> so if it's a little, you know, um, I'm trying to give everything really, you know, quickly, but, you know, informatively at the same time. So <clears throat> I, um, uh, grew up, you know, without, uh, a father figure in my life at a young age, you know, very young, four or five, I started, I started stealing and, um, uh, I moved around a lot. My mom, uh, you know, we went through different schools and stuff. You know, I remember one time being really sad because I made friends and I had to go to a different school <clears throat> and, uh, that happened a lot. My dad ended up having another family and um, taking care of them, you know, and, uh, um, and uh, so, you know, he was, you know, and he had a lot of torment over that. He, he, he that really killed him. Um, he was a great man. He was awesome. Awesome man. Made mistakes though. And uh, man, my hair looks really greasy right now. Wow. Probably because my new job I took a shower. Uh, it doesn't look like it though. <clears throat> Most the lighting. Um, but uh, I am, um, you know, uh, I started uh, hanging um, around, you know, uh, people who did drugs and stuff, um, partying and stuff. I. I got into that when I was a teenager, you know, probably 12, 13, started getting, you know, living in bad neighborhoods and uh, getting mixed in with that crowd and, and learning about like sex and stuff, you know, in detail when I was like 12 and, you know, smoking and cigarettes, weed, alcohol, all that stuff. You know, I was introduced at an early age, you know, me being very impressionable without a, without a father to, you know, go to and be like, man, you know, people are telling me this and this or whatever. I didn't have that, you know, it's kind of just like a <clears throat> shot there on my own. And, um, I, I learned from, um, the, those people. That's, that's how I learned how to, you know, criminals. That's, that's how I, you know, learned how to navigate. Uh, I, mean, I mean, just th that was my life, you know, just hanging around um, lawless people. And um, I ended up, uh, you know, so that was 12 and I ended up learning about, you know, uh, masturbating at that age too. Uh, I, you know, I just, and, um, uh, you know, I started doing that, smoking, drinking and stuff and um, started uh, you know, I found porn magazines in the woods somewhere, you know, and that started, you know, the cycle of, you know, uh, lusting and, uh, and, um, eventually, uh, a few years later, you know, from that point, you know, I ended up having an internet, a computer all to my own. So I started, you know, <clears throat> seeing, um, um, porn, you know, and, uh, such a young age, you know, I, uh, you know, I, it got to where, you know, it's like, okay, this is life, you know, watching porn and, you know, and then it led to like, um, like more hardcore porn or, uh, and, uh, more gross stuff, you know, it just led that way, you know, to me, it just led that way of, you know, just the, the, you know, it got to where it was a thing where it was like the, you know, more, crazy or something that's like I'm gonna go for it you know that's you know and um uh it got pretty bad 
you know, bestiality, um, <clears throat> uh, um, um, uh, that's, that's one of them that, uh, that's something I've actually acted it out on in, in, you know, physically. I, the, and that brought so much shame and uh, guilt on me that I couldn't bear. You know, I couldn't, you know, that, that really damaged me, you know, and that's what, that's what it does, you know, in, the, in the, uh, Leviticus in the Bible or something, it says that any man that lays with an animal is to be stoned, you know, that was back then, though. you know, it's changed now, I mean, Lord Jesus came, and uh, that's a whole other video, that's, that's a whole other video, I can't even, I can't get to that in six minutes. <clears throat> Um, also, you know, around that time I had, um, as a teenager, young teenager, I molested, uh, um, two children, very young children. And, um, you know, the, it was, uh, um, out of curiosity you know, of, um, uh, just of what's going on, you know, I don't want to get in detail because this stuff's gross, you know, I don't, I don't, but that was, you know, in, as a young teenager, I had this very, um, dark, uh, um, ex like just experiment, like just doing stuff like sexual stuff and stealing and all that stuff. And, um, you know, it, uh, you know, I had all this guilt and shame to go with it. You know, I, I brought all this stuff upon myself. I've, I've you know, um, you know, I was, um, totally self-centered. I was an atheist. I did all this stuff, you know, without, respect towards God. I, uh, um, I didn't believe in a God. Um, uh, you know, I thought you was dumb if you believed in the God or the Bible. And, um, I was proud. I was, I was arrogant. I was a selfish person. I've done damage, you know, in people's life. Like we, everybody, we all have, we've hurt people. We've, we've, um, in the family, you know, you haven't, um, but, um, all this stuff that I did, you know, when I coming out of, you know, coming out of my teenage years, you know, I didn't, um, this stuff didn't keep on going. You know, I, you know, I remember, um, when I was getting older out of my teenage years, I, uh, you know, started, you know, kind of, I didn't, it didn't get, nothing got worse. It kind of went the other way of, of, um, like this stuff is I didn't like, I didn't like to do this stuff that, that I ended up doing, you know, but it's still, the guilt was still there, but I eventually, you know, was just sleeping with a lot of women, not a lot of women. I mean, <clears throat> but, um, as much as I could, which wasn't a lot, but still I was really trying and, you know, hurting women. <clears throat> using women, um, using people for my, you know, one second, somebody's calling me, I gotta finish this, um, but, uh, I, um, uh, uh, I got to a point, all this stuff in my life, I, I got led to a point where I realized, um, um, I, all, you know, I ended up moving, getting away from everybody. And, uh, I just wanted to be, just be forgotten. I just wanted to just 
and I've been, you know, in a different state, and um, I am. Um, which, by the way, all the things that I did, I've went back to the people that I've. Um, God's made me go. I've went back and um, reconciled with people, and uh, even some people, you know, you know, even if I get in trouble, you know, but not, you know, but. You know, uh, everything's been uh, reconciliation and um, people I've done wrong. But uh, um, after Jesus saved me, this isn't, I mean, this wasn't on my own. I got saved and then I did that stuff. But Jesus Christ was first. He was before. But uh, what ended up happening is um, one night I was like by myself alone. And um, I realized where I'm at right now, it's all my fault. And then this revelation hit me. I deserve death. I didn't even know it was a revelation. I didn't know what it was. I just remember I deserve to die. Then I started going, falling really fast down a black tunnel or something. Blackness, pure, just dark blackness started falling down in it fast, really fast. Then I got sucked back out of it, back into into my room, and I was and I thought I was suicidal at that point. I didn't understand what was going on. Then, um, out of you know, even an atheist, being professing to be an atheist, I remember in the shower because somebody had been telling me a few times, if you call on the name of the Lord, He will save you. But I didn't. I didn't even understand that. But <clears throat> I was in the shower one night and. Uh, out of just desperate, my heart, I was like, if there's anybody there, please help me. I said that in the shower. Um, shortly after that, I ended up meeting who is now my wife. We have two children, two girls. My wife has got another one coming. And, uh, uh, but, um, um, what happened was, um, you know, uh, she got pregnant with our first one. I was about to start cheating on her. The cycle of sin, cycle of sin was about to was about to start again, and uh, and um, uh, you know, I started doing stuff again. And eventually, I was working at an old changing place right down the road. I was under the ground, about to work on a car, and. That's when all the guilt and shame that's been on me, I was thinking about stuff in the past a lot, just killing me and just drilling me. And then I just said, Lord Jesus, please forgive me. Please change me. Please be in my life. And bam, I, you know, I was changed right there. I, I was the, the sin, all that guilt and shame was off me. All, all of it was gone. It was gone. And I believed in Jesus. Uh, I was, it was like a, just a, a light switch and my brain was saying, what are you doing? You don't believe me. You know, the, it's not my brain. It was the heart. I cried out to God, Lord Jesus, forgive me. And he did. And, 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 and he's done mighty things in my life after that. And it's been, it's been awesome. And, um, and, uh, that's all I'm going to say. Cause I think this thing is about to, this thing's about to uh, stop. I'm going to do more videos, but, um, the Lord Jesus Christ saved me out of that. And he washes you. He died on the He died on the cross. He died on the cross. He was crucified. He was buried three days. On the third day, he rose again. And he's and he's and he's in the Father's light. He's he's with the Father. He's he's interceding for us. He's the mediator between man and God. And he looks down and he sees somebody so dirty, like I was, and so just filthy, just totally lost. And he sent his son down to pick me up, to wash me, clean me off. In his blood, the, the water, the Holy Spirit, he'll place his Holy Spirit inside of you. <clears throat> and um, Jesus Christ, he saved my life. And that's that's some that's some of my testimony, real quick. It's quick, you know, bunched, you know. But he did that. He did that for me. And he, he'll do it for anybody else. And you just go to the Lord Jesus Christ, call upon his name, and you'll be saved.
and then obey him, follow after him, do what he says. And uh, it'll lead to life. And um, my way will lead to death. His way leads to life. Thank you. God bless. Amen.